Hey guys, welcome to Pokedex, the channel where I build decks for the Pokemon trading card game. Today we're going to be playing finally with breakpoint cards, and the first deck that I'm going to be looking at is Darkrai X. This is an interesting Pokemon, I am still skeptical, it's going to see a lot of standard play, I think it's a lot better in Expanded, uh, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I kinda compare it a little bit to Machamp, so there's definitely potential, but there's also work that we have to do in our deck building in order to make Darkrai X work. Um, a lot of people have been posting decks, actually, some channels that I follow myself, like Omnipoke for example, and usually people pair Darkrai X with the obvious choice, which is Hypno, uh, which can... Um, put both active Pokémon to sleep, and then you use the Stadium All Night Party to wake up your Dark Cry X, heal off 30 damage from it, and then you're uh, able to use Dark Head, which is a wonderful attack for a Darkness and a Double Colorless Energy deals 80 damage, and if your opponent's active Pokémon is asleep, this attack does 80 more damage, so it's 160, with a Muscle Band it's 180, so you just have to put your opponent to sleep with a Hypno, you wake up your Dark Cry X, and then you kill them in a single hit, um, but if you think about it, it's just a lot of pieces, so you have to build a stage 1 in your bench, which is kinda like building an Ariados in a Machamp deck. But with this guy, you also need a Muscle Band and you also need a Stadium to wake yourself up. So I kinda decided to go with a different approach. Um, actually, in this deck, uh, I think Dark Pulse is the attack you're going to be using more. Uh, it's the first attack on Dark Rai X. Uh, it, for a double colorless energy, Dark Pulse does 20 damage plus. Uh, 20 more damage for its darkness energy attached to all of your Pokémon, so it's a fairly power-strong attack. Um, it usually two hits uh, pretty much anything if you have four energy down uh, plus the Dark Rise based uh, damage. It's 100 damage, so it's uh, it's a pretty decent attack, I think. Uh, plus you can also use the double colorless energy on Dark Rai that you want for Dark Head, anyways, and you just keep all your darkness energy on your bench so that you can protect them better and you attack with a Pokemon that has no darkness energy which is pretty cool, I think it works wonderfully and there's a lot of synergy with uh, Double Colorless Energy and Dark Cry X and with another fellow uh, dark Pokemon that a lot of people uh, hyped when it came out and it never really saw a lot of day because let's be honest it's not the greatest but Malamari X um, as I mentioned, it's also a darkness type Pokemon and actually wants the same type of cards that the Dark Cry does uh, so Maxamar for a darkness and a colorless, the 60 uh, times the the flips uh, on the coin for each energy attached to this guy. So if we have two energy, we flip two coins for each head, 60 damage. Um, it's a very good attack when we have a million energy on Malamari X. But actually the ability combines really well with Darkrai. Hyper Hypnosis reads, when you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may use this ability. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. So we're going to be using a different way to put our opponents to sleep, which is using the Malamari X. Um, we attach energy to this guy after we have our Darkrai X uh, f ready to use Darkhead and the opponent is put to sleep so we are hitting for a lot of damage and after the Darkrai X dies guess uh, who's ready to go with a million energy on it? It's Malamari X so hopefully Maxamar will finish them off nice and good. Um, another uh, Pokemon that we are playing here we have two Ivaltoli X for obvious reasons also, uh, I mean, Oblivion Wing is a nice way to get energy back from the discard pile so that you can later use the, the first attack on Darkrai, which is Dark Pulse, and deal a million damage. So this guy allows us to bring some energy back. And it's also uh, pretty pesky at 130 HP, really hard to get rid of for a lot of decks, so pretty nice to have. We have a uh, 2-2 two -two Zoroark uh, in here. And the reason for that is Stand-In is, is a great ability, uh, especially if we stick a Floatstone on Zoroark, just because it can allow us to uh, switch between our Pokémon freely. Um, and that will come in handy when I start discussing the items, we'll get to that in a second, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Mindjack also likes DCEs, so we can just jump into the action with Zoroark and deal potentially uh, 160 with a Muscle Band, it's 180 uh, with Mindjack, so that's pretty cool if the opponent has a full bench of 5 Pokémon. So that's uh, also really nice. Uh, all the, our Darkness Pokémon, I think, really work well with each other. And then we also have Shamini X. Uh, we have it here to draw cards, but of course, because we play DCE, it's one of those decks where sometimes you Sky Return to bring Shamin back into your hand, so never discount that. Uh, so that's our full Pokémon roster. Uh, let's start looking into the items. And the first one, it's another new item, pretty exciting. Probably the best card from Breakpoint, Max Elixir. Uh, you look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokémon on your bench. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So this card is really busted. And I think in a deck with Zoroark, it's uh, obviously way better because you can just uh, stand in with Zoroark. You use this uh, the, the, um, the Max Elixir 
and then you uh, put the energy on any guys on your bench and then you just retreat with the Zoroark into the guy that you attached the energy into. So that's really nice. It's kind of like attaching to the active as well. Um, but just the fact that we can just at attach to a Darkrai EX and then play the energy from our hand uh, into the Malamar and put the guy to sleep and then attack with the Darkrai on the same turn, that's super good. So we're kind of going on a different approach here because we have to drop energy on Malamar EX to be able to put the opponent to sleep. We kind of have to find some other way to fill up our Darkrai and Max Elixir is really good in that regard. I'm only playing three, the deck is kind of stuffed right now, but this is a rough draft of the deck. It's just an idea that I'm throwing at you guys. Uh, I've been having uh, quite a, f a bit of fun playing this deck, so hopefully you guys try it out and uh, find uh, it's working for you. Um, but I, I think we can also discuss the energy right now because we're talking about Max Elixir. I'm playing uh, uh, actually pretty high amount of energy. I'm playing nine Darkness Energy, which is the basic that the Max Elixir hits. Um, and there's two reasons for that, well, the f actually three reasons. The first one is Darkrai X. this guy Dark Pulse does a lot of damage the more energy you have. The next one is Malamar X. of course we want to put a lot of energy on Malamar X too. And the other one is, of course, the Max Elixir, because we want to hit those energies um, most of the times that we can. And also we have to play the double colorless energy because of all the reasons that I just stated. So we kind of have to play a really high amount of energy. Um, the good news is we don't really mind too much about discarding it for the Eiffel Tall and all that. So yeah, uh, I think it works nicely this way. But it is a constraint and it does cut some slots out of our deck that would be used for, I don't know, some tricks and all that. Because we have to keep our deck consistent, right? So yeah, we kind of have to... Uh, we don't really have space for tricks and those kind of stuff. Uh, one card that I think we kind of have to play at the, at the moment is Starling Megaphone. I think we're going to be seeing more and more Starling Megaphone. First reason for that is the um, Fighting Fury Belt. Is that the name of the new tool that you attach to a basic Pokémon? And it deals 10 pl uh, extra damage on each of its attacks and it gains 40 extra HP. Which is, I think, going to see a lot of play in Night March decks. And we kind of have to use Starling Megaphone to get rid of those. Um, just so that we can uh, kill them with Ivaltol in a single hit. Of course, uh, Styling Megaphone also works really nicely if Garbodor starts seeing some play. Uh, it's always nice to use Starling Megaphone, get rid of that tool from the Garbodor and be able to use our energy, especially, uh, sorry, our ability, especially the Malamari X ability, which just helps us put our opponents to sleep. Of course, Standing is also really nice. We have another card that removes tools, which is Zerozik, and the reason for going one Starling Megaphone, one Zerozik, is that Zerozik can be grabbed with a Via Seeker, while Starling Megaphone can't. Once you discard it or play it, uh, you don't have it anymore. So, there's that. Uh, we have one Super Rod. Super Rod. Uh, the main purpose of Super Rod in this deck actually is to shuffle energy back. Of course, if we end up discarding on Zorworks early on or Malamars and all that, we can bring them back. Also, we can bring Ivaltals back against Nightmarch. Actually, I think I would up the count of this guy if you're uh, playing this in a tournament or something like that. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, this is still a rough draw uh, of the deck, but uh, Super Rod is really nice in the later stages of the game. If you still have some Max Elixirs floating around, you just shuffle energy back and then you have a very low uh, deck count and you have a lot of energy in there so you're bound to hit one out of the max elixir we are playing four trainers mail trainers mail is a wonderful uh, consistency card and i think it works really nicely in this deck because we're not only trying to find a card draw we're also trying to find max elixirs and starling megaphone sometimes and also the cards that increase our damage so i think playing extra trainers mail is really good here we have four ultra ball obvious reasons grabs pokemon uh one of them is shaman x of course and then we have four vs seeker which is also pretty cool uh, to grab our supporters back from the discard pile. And those supporters are 1 AZ, allow us to uh, retreat from one Pokemon that might be stranded in the active, uh, also allows us to redraw our Shamans and play them back. We have two Lysander to capture our opponent's Pokemon and take the right knockouts at the right time. We have one Pokemon Fan Club. This is a pretty good card in setup decks. Maybe it's an exaggeration in this deck, maybe we don't really need it. But because I want to have a lot of stuff in our bench, like we want to have a Zorua and a Malamar, and sometimes even grabbing the Shaman X just to draw extra cards, just too good to, to have. So one Pokemon Fan Club, um, definitely a pretty cool supporter in the early stages of the game. Then we have one Professor Virtus Observations. Uh, it's not as good as Sycamore, but it's the second best I think and then uh, for Professor Sycamore as I mentioned we are playing one zero Zeke to get rid of annoying tools especially from Garboder uh, we have a couple of Faded Town Faded Town 
puts extra damage counters on the Mega Pokemon. The reason for playing Faded Town is I needed to play uh, some sort of stadium in here, I think. If the opponent plays a Silent Lab, uh, it cuts off the Malamar's ability and, uh, of course, Shaman. So it kind of felt like we have to play a stadium uh, most of the times uh, right now because there's so many decks that use stadium for profit and we kind of get wrecked by having just letting them have a stadium there. Imagine if your opponent just plays a um, parallel city in the early, early stages of the game. We kind of want to have a bench of five Pokemon just to be able to play our Shamans and all that. And Fatal Town allows us to trump our opponent's stadium just to, to um, <laughs> if nothing else, just to get rid of them and to kind of uh, disrupt them a little bit. But yeah, um, maybe we should be playing Delinquent instead because just one Delinquent we can grab with Via Seeker. But yeah, I, I, I'm kind of... Uh, I, I'm kind of liking the, the Faded Town's extra damage just because we some, we are, I mean, we're bu building our deck to be hit, able to hit 180 damage with Dark Head a lot of times, so this kind of helps us get rid of EX, or sorry, Mega Pokemon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it does help a lot. As far as items go, or tools, sorry, we have a couple of floatstones in here that we can put on the Zoroark, hopefully, uh, just to be able to stand in and retreat whenever we want, and then three muscle band to put on our attackers, which hopefully will be Dark Rai X, because Dark Hat really likes the extra um, um, 20 damage, and of course Dark Pulse, it's kind of like having an extra energy that you can play on the same turn that you play a dark, uh, Darkness energy or something like that. Uh, I already discussed the energy that we are playing, so whew, uh, we kind of went through the deck really quickly. Um, we, I'm not having a lot of time to record these decks, as you guys know. Kind of still on the old format without breakpoints, testing for the ECC, but yeah, let's just hopefully find a quick match that I can show you guys how to play this deck. Alright, let's go play our match against Gazzoni. Uh, don't really know if that's how you say my opponent's name. I was kind of distracted, I didn't really see what he's playing as far as um, energy types go in the bottom left corner, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Alright, we start off with the Dark Ryx, which is actually pretty good because we have the Shemin in our hand, so we can drop it and then AZ it back. Let's see what my opponent is playing. Definitely will play the Startling Megaphone if my opponent plays a tool. Oh, he's playing Ivel Tolly X, so I guess this Faded Town is not going to be that useful. Um, Oh, I take that back, he just played the Manetric X, so he's probably playing the Mega Manetric Ivoltal deck. So yeah, I guess Faded Town is going to be extra useful here to deal extra amount of, amounts of damage. And my opponent just plays a Parallel City, so that just makes me really happy to have this Faded Town in my hand uh, right now. I'm definitely going to bounce my opponent's Stadium. Let's see where he puts the energy from this. Okay, so he's going for the Ivoltal X. Wonder what else my opponent is doing here. Oh, he plays an Ultra Ball, okay. Discards a switch and the lightning energy. And goes for the Hoopy X. Okay, that's that's a nice one for him. So he's just going to draw three Pokemon, I guess, the Mega and a Shaman and something else. I don't know. Let's see what my opponent does here. He hasn't played supporter, so maybe he's just going to play a Sycamore anyway, so he doesn't grab the Mega. I don't know. Oh, he does. He grabs the Mega Manetric and the Shaman and the Ivoltal EX. All right. Puts down the Ivoltal. Puts down the Shaman. Draws three extra cards. Just hope he plays the Spirit Link so that we can get rid of it. Oh, and Muscle Band. I'll definitely use the Starling Megaphone on that anyways. Yeah, Darkrai doesn't... Uh, he's going to take a lot of damage from Ivoltal EX. I don't think they pair up that well against each other. Oh, Judge! Ugh, that's disgusting. Getting Judge before we even get to play a turn. That's pretty sick. Let's see. Huh. Actually, <laughs> I think we even drew a better hand here. So we have the Dark Ryx. Let's see if we hit with a Max Elixir. Oh, boy. Oh, and we do. All right. Uh, we have one Darkness Energy in there. And I'm going to bounce the Stadium. And we're going to play the Sycamore. So this was a pretty good uh, four cards out of that. We drew the, the Lysander, didn't really need it. And now I think I'll play this Ultra Ball. And I'll discard an Energy and a Zoroark. And I'll go for the Zorua. Get this little guy in play so that we can uh, gain extra mobility next turn. And I can play the Darkness Energy from my hand. So this was a pretty good turn for us, I think. Depending on what happens next turn might even be able to start 
attacking with a dark cry. Let's see how this goes. Trainer's mail from my opponents. Manetric Spiritling, I wonder if he's evolving this turn, because we have the stadium down, so if he does, he's going to take some damage. I don't think the time is right for my opponent, but let's see what he does. Okay, Evil Ball, 80, 80 damage to our Dark Rai X, so he can kill it next turn. We drew another Via Seekers. Uh, we kind of have to discard them both. Yeah, you do what you have to do, so kind of need to play the Sycamore right now. So there go our Via Seekers, and now... Huh, this hand is really interesting. I mean, we have the Max Elixir, so we can actually... And we have the Energy in hand, so we can actually Ultra Ball for a Malamar. And then play the Energy from our hand, and then use the Max Elixir. But, yeah, I think I will be left with no card draw, though. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I think I misplayed here. Maybe I should have seen if the Max Elixir hits or not, because if it doesn't, I'd rather just have the Shaman in hand. Yeah, we failed the Max Elixir. That was pretty bad. Oh boy, yeah, I should have gone for the Shaman instead. It's only one card that we took out of the deck, which is the Malamar, so yeah, I'm just going to end the turn here. Kind of in a bad place right now, just because I misplayed there. Oh boy. Yeah, my opponent is just going to destroy our Dark Ray X, so we kind of need to draw something that helps us draw cards. So if we draw a supporter, I think we will be fine. Um, let's see what happens. I think I, think I still have a turn to draw. Oh, we draw the Shaman X, so just forget everything I just said. We are doing wonderfully. We just need to draw an energy, I guess, to put on that Malamar. Yeah, our deck just gave us, I think, everything. Oh, no energy yet. Okay. Uh, I'll play the Starling Megaphone. Get rid of those energies or those tools. I don't really care too much about the... Um, oh, we got the Nultra Ball, that's nice, so I can actually go for a Shaman here, because I want to draw as many cards as possible, I really, really, really want to hit an energy, any energy will do, because I want to play it from my hand onto that Malamar. Um, as I was saying, I don't care too much about getting rid of the the Muscle Band, because I plan on uh, killing that Ivolt X anyways, but if instead of a Muscle Band, okay, we hit the energy, so that's just a knockout here. If instead of a Muscle Band, that was the... Fighting Fury Belt, uh, the Starling Megaphone would just be amazing there because it would grant us the knockout and get rid of the Spirit Link at the same time, so that's just insane. Yeah, my opponent committed a lot of energy into this Ivoltol and we just took it all off, so he's in a really bad position right now. And imagine if our opponent actually had a way to. Yeah, he could. Act... Yeah, I think he misplayed. He had the Muscle Band there, so he, he should have actually. Just why cyclone the energy, maybe the DCE into the Ivolt all that he has on the bench, because then he would be able to hit uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So potentially, well, I don't think he could kill us, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, couldn't kill us anyway, but he would hit our Dark Ray X for a lot of damage. So I think that was a misplay on his part. I mean, just getting the energy discarded is not great at all. So. And now he's just... If he attacks with a Manetric EX, he's just dead. If he evolves, he's also dead unless he trumps the Stadium, which I don't think he's going to because he only has two cards in hand. He just lies endered out our Malamar, but that doesn't really make a difference because we have the, the Floatstone on the, the Zoroark. So, yeah, it's just... I think he's just dead. We're just going to stand in. And we're going to... I don't think I need to play anything, really. I just... We're just in such a commanding position. Uh, I'm going to put this guy down just in case he uses Parallel City so we can discard both Shaman. And now I'm go actually going for the DC on the Malamar because then I have the Ivolt Ali X ready to pump energy if he kills our Dark Ray X somehow. So yeah, I'm just going to kill his... He's left without energy, so maybe he just throws Jirashi at us, lets us kill the Jirashi because that's not really doing... Okay, my opponent just concedes. Uh, I was going to say that if he threw the Jirashi at us, it would potentially cost us a turn, although we do, we do have uh, Via Seeker in our hand, I think. So we could actually Lysander out something like the Shaman and kill it. Yeah, that was a pretty convincing win. I mean, we we're playing against, uh, I guess it's not a tier 1 deck, but it's uh, still a pretty decent deck that many people play, So, and we actually took a pretty convincing win there. I think this is still a pretty rough draft of what this uh, Darkrai EX deck might look like, but yeah, it's, it's a different idea, I think. I think it's worth trying out instead of Hypno. 
Uh, I really like this deck. I hope you guys like it too, and I hope you try it out. Tell me what you think in the comments as usual, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!